morning all we had a day off from festivities yesterday to uh, to go and get some uh, chassis section uh, this is for the uh, chassis extension on the S80 you may know. chassis section itself um, the guy I got it off is telling me that it was a, a 77 S83 uh, which was new to Tyson Burridge and in fairness that could be the case but we're going to have a search for a um, chassis number and maybe get Cheshire Records to have a look at it see who the original owner is just to be nosy then you can uh, see that ripple down there that flame cut uh, while I was there um, we had to um, cut the front U-bolts luckily our man JL had got some um, some bolts uh, old down clamp bolts for the springs um, you need two long ones or two longer ones because uh, they mount the shock absorber uh, bottom mount there and the short ones go in the back I also managed to get some 5 8 uh, UNF drum screws off him so all in all we had a good day uh, you know it's night I run out there um, eventful as it was I know some of you have already been talking to Richard so he'll, he'll no doubt enlighten you while we had to have a Doncaster and Scunthorpe detour um, so this is the hub we've uh, got the drum off uh, and we're going to get it in the press and push that bearing track out. I want to push both bearing tracks out to to give it a you know a good clean up. We've hoisted most of the grease out, and again, you know, old Philly B loves a bit of grease. There's no talk with that, is there? And you know, to be fair, you know, you know it's um, it's going to get stored that, and we'll probably use it for rubbing on a fifth wheel or just building bolts up. You know, it's you, know, you can't uh, you can't chuck stuff like that away. Um, we're going to pull the wheel studs out. Uh, get the whole end cleaned up, make sure they're in tip top condition because, uh, well, if they're not, we all get to sing that song, don't we? Which is, you picked a fine time to leave me loose wheel, and we don't want any of that. So, uh, yeah, good show, let's crack on. Right, so the weather's on our side this afternoon, so we're going to uh, make the cut and start processing this lump of channel. Not channel but to uh, chassis section um, found the chassis number not sure if you can see that but it's obviously been badly mutilated by something that's been mounted on the top so we'll never know the chassis number I'm gonna get this back section off and then sort of work out where I get my piece that I'm gonna use extension pieces as you can see pretty scabby looking at the minute so we're going to get the wire wheel on it get it cleaned up once it's cleaned up we can tidy these holes up and then once we're happy with it we'll square it up and cut it to final dimensions and it'll be millimeter perfect to the other side because otherwise we're going to get some crabbing aren't we obviously not that i'd say an s80 be millimeter perfect if i'm really honest but anyway so this is the extension piece in uh, obviously we've got it clamped here and here da, 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 that's the original chassis uh, and here's his extension piece again we've done quite a bit of work on it to get it uh, something like uh, we're going to bolt that in I know I know some people weld them in but I'm, I'm yet to see a flitch that's welded in by the manufacturer these bolts holes here are for the fuel tank bracket I think the bracket actually went there I do wonder why there's sort of two sets of them next to each other. I wonder whether the fella got it wrong first time or something, I don't know. So we're going to put it in uh, and pick up on them bolts and when we fit the fuel tank carrier all we need to do is, is fit slightly longer bolts of course. Right, so we've got our um, extension piece, section, stretch, call it what you will. So we now need to get them parallel fittings there. Important you mark which way up it's going because you can start working to them. You know, we're not CNC are you? We're doing it as precise as we can with tools we've got. If I put this on upside down next time, I'm going to be grinding this to that, and before you know it, we're going to lose about a foot of chassis. So if I put that in and run it up to it, my edges are right here, 
my edges are bang on. My face isn't bad. But I've got this run out in my joint. We know this is square, so it means my chassis is not square on the cut. So we've got him pushed up tight. This is square. We've ground this. We know the extension piece is square, but we've got a gap. We've got a gap, we've got a considerable gap at the top in fairness, but we've got a gap. Yeah, so if I run my square down here, I've got it square at the top, she's sat nice on top of chassis rail. I reckon, I reckon that's about an eighth of an inch, let's have a quick look on this side. Yeah, so we've got an eighth of an inch in the bottom. The fact that it's out at the bottom only slightly is widening at the top. So we're not far out, it's all good that, I didn't expect it to be right for this time. That should get us quite a lot closer, not a massive amount off, just enough. That's looking a lot more respectable now. Yeah, great. So as I'm looking at it now, the gap up here is pretty even now we've done that um, that shave on this one. It's actually being held out a little bit by the uh, bottom flange. There's a nib on the bottom flange, so we'll pick that up when we do the grind. I'm reasonably happy with that. Never completely happy because I don't think anybody ever is, are they? That's pretty good all the way along now as well. Level there, level there, I don't think you can ask for a lot more than that can you? Right, so we're in a pretty good place now to be fair, we've got a nice plane along there, that's nice and level, um, we've got a nice uh, V now, so I'm going to tack the top, pull the clamps out, pull the flitch out, see what we've got, it needs to come off, it's not a big job is it, I can whip it off and what have you, but I just want to see what we've got before we tack that bottom end flitch. Good opportunity now to get this bang on under its own steam, um, but other than that I'm dead happy with it. So we'll give it some tacks, uh, see where that takes us. Like I say, we're only doing two tacks on the top. Yeah, so the face is pretty good. Face is really good, in fact. That inner bottom lip is absolutely perfect. That's dead level. So that's where we've got the problem now. We've just got a slight run out. Okay, so we've wedged the screwdriver under to act as a pivot. I'm going to put the uh, clamp on now to try and level it on the spirit level using the screwdriver as a bit of a fulcrum. So that levels it. Right, that bit of downward pressure there has pulled the clamp, has squeezed the chassis up and pulled that level. So we'll bang on level there. Slightly out there. Must be something along here. Probably, probably the corrosion, surface corrosion. That's level. That's level, and that's hell of a lot better, because it's touching just on one spot in the corner. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another clamp and see if pulling it helps it. So I've got a block wood in the back here, I've just put a metal spacer in just to give us a bit more room, a bit more pull, so we'll just see if we can pull it across nice and easy. Yeah, that's pulled it lovely, that has. Yeah, and, we're, and we're, we're still, we're a lot better, but we're still not quite right. We've still got that slight run out. We've made contact underneath. So, yeah. I'm going to pull it to bits, give that bottom rail just a kiss, just to get it out clean, 
just to give us enough to drop that end. So we've got the weld hinge in play now. Uh, they've cooled off because we've we've been at it a while now just to get this right. Not that long, I suppose, 10 minutes. We've opened up the gap with the chisel. We could go a bit more. I don't think we particularly need to. We're only just going to shave these corners because that's the bit where we're struggling. But uh, it's looking good. We're just going to get our grinder in here, smooth these edges up just so we can get that top edge down. So we've been able to keep flexing the joint and this has enabled us to wedge it open and close it up, grind a bit, all the rest of it. We've pushed it shut, we've checked it. So that spirit level now, the bubble's absolutely bang on in between. We haven't got the gap underneath consistently all the way across. We have got some daylight coming through but that's due to surface corrosion on the top of the chassis and you can see that right along as you go along. So we're going to put all the clamps in place now, get it all straight and parallel, level and plumb uh, and then we'll see if we're in a position to tack. Good show. Right so I've put the lever on the end just so that um, I can apply minimal pressure to it just to keep it completely butted up when we put this tack in. So I think I'm probably going to put it here because that means I can hold it with me. I can hold the lever with my left hand and use the torch with my right, and I am right-handed. Here we go. Okay. Bang on level. Yeah, we'll squeeze up with that. Same as level. Yeah, great. Lovely. That's just absolutely bang on. Right, so the next part of it, I suppose, is sense check. Make sure that your measurements, your spirit level and everything rings true. So I've put a mark there, width of the ruler, about an inch long. Um, I'm going to put another one there and link them up because that gives me a really good set off, straight line for my laser. i do another one about there. Straight away that should give us something. Yeah, that's telling us bang on. So I'm going to go down the other end, mark that up, and then, you know, we'll do a walk past. Okay, we've got his laser on. Oh, you dick. Can you believe I've just knocked that? Well, anyway, we've got his laser on. You can see it on my hand. Uh, I'm going to set that up again. Okay, we're moving that into the V now. I'm not sure you can see the, the red line, but she's there. So the 101 mil refers to um, that chassis measurement with the calipers okay and the reason for measuring that will become apparent as we move down but as you can see you know we're on the line I'm happy with that there's a felt tip mark we're just slightly we're literally top side of him aren't we you know we've not we've not come right and through the middle of him we've come top side of him we're coming through, but you can still see the line on the top if we look. There we go, you can see the line. So that tells us as well we're level. Not only are we plumb, we're level. So we've got a taper in the chassis, okay? Um, it tapers off to the front. Our mate's had his gas hatch out again. Um, this chassis is 5mm narrower here than up there which means that our inch moves in five mil so if if we look at that gap you'd have to say i know you can't really tell but you'd have to say that's around five mil so we're straight so far um, yeah so we get to this one uh chassis width drops to 89 so it's minus 11 if you eyeball that you know it is around 10 mil so the very last one is this one here. Chassis width is down to 80mm. Um, so that's 80 
minus 20. Um, what I've done, I've brought the rule just to see if we can get a, a something like measurement. Um, it's not bad, is it? That It's not far out, is it? You know, it might not be exact, but it's not far out. So if we look down that chassis, it's a real pity. Oh, we have to come back down in dark or something, don't we? But it's a real pity you can't see it. That, that line travels beautifully up that chassis. So, so I'm going to go up Millionaire's Row in Peakdale and pick some trestles up so that we can start on the other side before we do that uh, final well down there. Lovely. So it's Sunday morning. I got distracted yesterday. I had to go and do some other stuff. So just as a recap, we've got the trestles in place now. These are the larger ones that I borrowed off the Millionaire from Peakdale. We've got us joint on, and we've got to stitch this to that joint. First thing we need to do is sense check this because uh, we didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. So I want to get a measurement of that, measurement of this, and then make sure that that's going to give us the absolute overall length that we want. Right, so we're starting off. The overall chassis length is 4760 millimetres, which is uh, 15 foot 7 and 3 eighths. Uh, we're putting 305 mil extension in. 12 inch which is that um, so we're gonna get some measurements and um, see what that gives us with what we've got um, so that measurement looks like three one three nine so let's get a pen uh, three one three nine so we're gonna have a look at him now. I'm gonna have my glasses here. One nine two. I'm gonna go one nine two six there. One two six. Right, let's go on there. Transfer them over here. Uh, so we've got one nine two six. Yeah. Pens running out. So that's 15, 6, 0, 5. 5, 0, 6, 5. So we've got 5 taking nothing's 5, 6 taking 6 is nothing. We're going to carry that over. That's 4, that's 10, that's 3. 3, 0, 5, 0. So bang on. Absolutely bang on. We need 3, 0, 5 for 12 inch. So just to recap, in the long one we've got 3139 in the short one we've got 1926 which gives us the 65 that's just total 5065 the original is 4760 and we want a 305 which is 12 inch and that's what we've got 5065 minus 4760 leaves you 305 which is that lump there so that tells us we're in right ballpark uh, with this first one um, in case we do have a, a, an issue. Right, so I need to lift these up now. I need to get these trestles lifted up so this is in a place it can be stitched on. And I'll do a few more measurements as we go as well. Great stuff. 